Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have uh, yours truly in uh, the tier 8 Czechoslovakian tank destroyer. It is the SHPTK TVP or the SHPTVP as I like to call it. Uh, but yeah, in this video, you know, in this awesome, awesome matchup that we have against some tier 6 and 7 vehicles, uh, I'm going to show you exactly why this vehicle is extremely deadly. In the right matchup as you can see already loading the he this vehicle has incredible he rounds as you can see 100 millimeters of penetration 420 damage and if you actually set this vehicle up correctly you can get like four second reload um if you want to you know go all out and put bond gun rammer and stuff like that you can actually get this vehicle to have like six thousand damage per minute something disgusting like that um, I personally don't really use uh, bond equipment yet. I mean, I'm, I'm playing it casually at the moment, right? Um, maybe in the future I'll go for more bond equipment and like bounty stuff on my premiums as well as my tier 10 vehicles. But at the moment, as you can see, I have a gun rammer in uh, the um, in the damage slot. We have coated optics in uh, the scouting slot because this vehicle has pretty bad V range, 370 uh, meters of base V range which is definitely not enough um so you know try to increase it to the maximum 445 to be able to spawn for myself because this vehicle has awesome mobility as well it's it's like kind of like a medium and a tank destroyer combined into one and i just love this vehicle so much look at this look at the dpm even if you fire ap right and you don't have that 6000 um, the damage per minute, you still have like 3,500 with the uh, the build that I have, with the gun rammer, with the food, with brothers in arms on your crew. And I mean 3,500 when you fight against some tier 6 vehicles, it's it's just ridiculous. And there we go, H into the side of the VK32D. Like I said, that 100mm of penetration is just deadly. Can we finish off the super champion over here and actually missing? That is an awful shot, my goodness. Had to finish off that super chaffy i was actually really really sad i missed on that one uh but yeah hopefully we can make it count this time and we finish off the super chaffy with another lovely ag round and yeah this vehicle I still, it's just so good it's like one of my favorite tier 8 premiums to play because it can do everything you know it can do a lot of damage it can go forwards to scout if you needed to i guess um, you don't have armor, sure, the, the, the armor is pretty awful on this vehicle. Um, even some HE rounds will go through this vehicle. Oh my goodness, can we hit something today? Can we hit something, please? No? Maybe this time, RNG? Maybe this time? There we go, one into the OI. <laughs> uh, but yeah. This vehicle, amazing mobility. Amazing, like, one of the best DPMs at tier 8. Um, if you fire Rachi, then it is definitely the best one. I think it's actually one of the best DPMs in the game. If you do fire Rachi and Pen with this vehicle. Um, so, yeah, what what else do you need, right? The camo, not the best, right? The camo is like 16% base on this vehicle, which is, I'd say, some sort of medium tank area. Not a very sneaky medium tank area. Um, it's above the Vipro, of course, and the TS5. But it's just under the Nomad, so... And you, you won't be the sneakiest of vehicles. Trying to go for some blind fire over here. Also, something I didn't uh, talk about so far, right? AP rounds are amazing as well. 270mm of penetration. Definitely more than enough at here, right? And then you have 330mm of heat pen. So this vehicle can do it all. You know, you have AP for your, like, regular tier rate vehicles, heavies, um medium stuff like that you have those amazing he rounds for the lightly armored vehicles i'm actually going to go with ap over here because i don't know if i can pen the vk 3002d um through a lot of rubble and stuff it is a pretty tricky one so i would much rather fire ap even though even though the shell velocity of the he is similar to the ap not exactly the same as you can see 897 and a 900 um on the he so the he is actually the fastest shell on this vehicle for some odd reason but i see the north is crumbling i feel like we need to win the east quickly though with the sdrv and the lansen are going down over here up to five kills on 3000 damage trying to get the poodle over here before we go 
and defend the base. Switching to each round, putting one into the backside, finishing off the Poodle. And yes, six kills. Oh my goodness, don't, don't get hammer wrecked. Batfish ARL shooting us from behind that cheeky tier six French tank destroyer. But we just turned it in what was it like 15 seconds? 15 seconds ago it was 10 to 6, and now it's 10 to 9. So this vehicle is just a game changer. It's just a game changer. Trying to catch the OI this time. Easy peasy into the OI, finishing them off. And now it is just the 50. 3 TP and the T25 2 over here. Trying to use the bushes to catch the T25 2 and not get spotted. Then we're getting a high roll of 269. Nice damage. Which means the T25 2 is actually a one shot now. Do I go back behind the bush? No, I'm actually going to fire the T25 2. I feel like I need to do damage. I need to do it quickly. I will get spotted. 53 TP will try to shoot me and he does miss. It could see kind of like the splash far away, right? He hit the dirt over there. And now my thoughts were like. The 53 TP is isolated, right? It's not the fastest of vehicles. Let's go and finish off the artillery and the tank destroyer that are sneaky. But apparently my teammates um, have different plans. They're just rushing the 53 TP, which can be dangerous. You know, if if he just digs in in a good position and just goes after them one by one, uh, then it is going to be dangerous for my mediums. And now that I see the artillery is actually over towards the west as well, I'm like, okay. Okay. I, it's only the ARL, right? So who's who do we need to focus first? Obviously, the tier eight heavy tank that actually took down the two seven four eight to a one shot. Now, we need to watch out. Fifty three TP has to focus. Down. It didn't focus the two seven four A, and that is going to be his demise over here, or is it? Two seven four not going in aggressively and actually missed the shell. T the forty five is a one shot. Can't actually pen the fifty three TP. Finishes off the T thirty forty five, and now it is a, it, it, it's a dangerous one. But we have one to the 53 TP, and like I said, the rate of fire, the DP on this vehicle is crazy. Shutting down the 53 TP and just getting done a ninth kill, 4,200 damage. And this is stuff you can do with this vehicle. You know, you can just drive forwards and use your DPM as like I'm doing over here. I can fire so many times before the aerial can fire at me. I have more damage. It's like I fire two. Can I fire a third one? The 274 trying to get the kill, missing luckily, and we get our 10th kill and 4,900 damage done in this battle. Um, so yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to show. The SpTVP as I call it, because it's just so much fun. I think it's one of the most fun vehicles to play in the game. Like I, always, like I said earlier, um, awesome mobility. Amazing shell variety, you know, with the amazing AP rounds, 270 pen is just delicious at tier 8. Um, heat rounds, 330mm of penetration, amazing at, it's like, it's good enough to be at, on tier 10. Okay, 330mm of heat is like more than most tier 10 heavies have, right? And it's on a tier 8 uh, tank destroyer, fast firing one out of that, so you can just chip away, chip away, chip away. Uh, the enemy's HP also amazing HP rounds with 100 millimeters of penetration, which is once again way above the average. And when you can actually meet some tier six vehicles, you could you can just do a lot of damage with those HP rounds, like we did over here. Um, 420 damage on those shells, and when it just fires so quickly, right? One after another, after another you just keep on firing, keep on firing. Use that amazing DPM this vehicle has. You can do insane amounts of damage with this vehicle. This is actually my third ever uh, pulse medal. So, uh, yeah. I guess I need to play the TVP a bit more then. Uh, but let's go and check out the post-game stats and see all of the medals and stuff that we received in this battle. There we go. Getting a first class actually for this um, 1,382 Base XP, a pulse medal of 4 destroying 10 enemy vehicles, high caliber for the 4,892 damage, and a top gun for you know, 6 kills or more. Um, yeah, I had to use the lovely Dez's site. Dez Games, by the way, if, if you don't know, one of my favorite streams to watch, you should go and check it out. I will leave a link in the description below to all of his channels. Um, but yeah, I had to use this uh, website because what replays just didn't like my replay, I guess. <laughs> um, I wasn't actually able to upload 
my results to the regular Watery Plays website. So if you actually think that this website is uh, better, if you like the stats and like the, the presentation better over here, let me know and I will just use this site from now on. Uh, but yeah, 4,892 damage, 36 assisted, uh, um, 35 shots fired, 23 hit, 22 penetrated, so like, almost everything we hit, penned. Yes, I did miss a lot, I know, I know, but yeah. Almost every shot that hit did pen, so that is a nice ratio over here. Um, 4,892 damage, 1,801 from a distance of 300 meters or more. Five hits received, four penned. Like I said, this vehicle doesn't have armor. Don't expect to bounce anything with this vehicle. Sure, like, from time to time, you will be able to block something. As you can see, we did block one shell over here. But you shouldn't actually kind of think that you will block something with this vehicle. Because it's just not going to work 90% of the time, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, one enemy vehicle spotted, 10 vehicles damaged, and 10 destroyed. So every vehicle that I did damage to, I actually destroyed in this battle. 36 damage calls with our assistance, 9 defense points, I guess for shooting that uh, 53 dp in the cap. 2.77 kilometers traveled, and just you know, 7 minutes of uh, pure destruction, I guess with the Schmidt TVP, even though we didn't get an ace tanker, which is rather surprising considering we have a pool's medal. But yeah, I mean, when you don't spot for yourself, like when you use others spotting, you will get less XP for every damage you do. So if you want to maximize your XP, you should spot and damage the vehicles that you spotted to get all of the XP you can from those targets. And yeah, 112,000 credits made. In this battle, didn't fire a lot of gold. I think I went through um, all of my AP and a lot of my HE as well before going with gold at the end over there. So we make a juicy profit, you know, a bunch of XP, a bunch of free XP as well. Overall, a very, very nice battle in the Shpa TVP. Um, so yeah, go and get it. I mean, <laughs> when you can get the Shpa TVP, it's just so much fun. It's it, it's one of my favorite here at Premium to play. So definitely do recommend. Uh, going and getting this vehicle. But yeah, this is it for this video. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the SHP, TK, TVP, the Schmidt TVP as we call it over here. Do you think it's um, maybe too good in its current, uh, you know, position? Maybe not good enough? Think it's balanced as is? Let me know in the comments your thoughts, your opinions. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tons of a good one, people.